Oh, good. You're home. That makes this much easier. I hope my favorite little tenant is doing well today. It's not obvious what I'm doing. I came in to perform a routine check on your apartment. That's part of my job as your landlord. Breaking in? Pfft. Have you forgotten who owns this place? Your room is my room. I'm allowed to come and go as I please. It's all in the contract you signed. If you have any concerns about that, then maybe next time you should read a bit more carefully. <sighs> it is just adorable how short you are. However, your short-sightedness is another story. But really, you're overreacting. I'll be out of here soon. As long as you're following the guidelines I set when you first moved in. You have been following them, right? Excellent. Then there's nothing for you to worry about. You can just go back to watching TV while I have a quick look around. Oh. Huh. What's this? I found this sitting in the corner. This jacket doesn't belong to you, does it? Mm-hmm. I figured as much. Looks like your girlfriend left it here. I know I told you about our policy. You're not allowed to bring anyone here without prior approval? Besides your family? Am I understood? Well, if you really did understand, then why did you break the rules? Don't lie to me. I know you don't have a sister. Please don't add insult to injury. Obviously, I have that information because of the background check I did on you before I took you as a tenant. That's just common practice. Are you going to be surprised by every little thing? Or are you just trying to distract me from how you broke the rules? Did you and your little girlfriend have fun at least? I certainly hope you did. I hope it was worth risking your stay here. God, I really need to spell out everything for you. I'm saying the punishment for breaking the rules, as stated in your contract, is eviction. You seemed pretty desperate to find an affordable place close to your college, but maybe I got the wrong idea. Perhaps you had plenty of options, and you're only here to give me a hard time. Is that the case? Then why do you keep testing my patience? Rules are there for a reason. If you cannot follow them, there will have to be some kind of... Hmm, disciplinary action. I'm not a monster, you know? I understand your circumstances, so it's not like I really want to evict you. I think you could be the perfect tenant, with a little bit of... guidance. How does that sound as an alternative? You look pretty hesitant. I guess you'd rather be out on the streets? Hmm, <laughs> that's the response I was waiting for. I think you could be the perfect tenant with... a little bit of guidance. How does that sound as an alternative? You look pretty hesitant. I'm guessing you'd rather be out there? On the streets? Mm-hmm. That's the response I was looking for. Well, there's no time to waste. Let's get started right away. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. 
I certainly couldn't put physical harm into my contract. But I did manage to fit in a clause regarding a little... personal attention. For the rest of the night, I'll be staying here with you. To better help you become a model tenant. So I hope you're ready for your first lesson. Plans? Why should I care about your plans? I have a job to do. You'll stay here with me until you learn how to behave. First, I want you to give me your phone. Don't look at me like that. I am completely serious. Yes, hand it over. Now. Thank you. Ah, it's locked. I guess that's why you didn't put up that much resistance. Not that it matters. <laughs> you should really come up with a better code. One, two, three, four. You've got to be kidding me. Anyway, now I can let your girlfriend know that you'll be busy tonight and she doesn't need to come over. And... Send. That should give us some peace and quiet. Hmm? What's wrong? It's not like you'll never see her again. But we just can't afford the distraction. Forget about her for now. Focus on me instead. That's the first lesson. Getting used to the presence of your landlord. I'll make it nice and easy for you. I'll sit right here on the couch. And you can come and sit on my lap. Come on. <laughs> Good. You've gotten much better at listening to my instructions. Although, you could have sat down facing me. But that's okay. Since you're facing away from me, I get to... Hug you from behind. Just like this. Mm, I get to squeeze you as tight as I want. Pressing us together so close. <laughs> I can feel you squirming, trying to wiggle away from me. I guess height isn't our only difference. I think I might just be a little bit stronger than you, too. <laughs> and even if you're not facing me, I can tell how much you're blushing. I can put my cheek up against yours and feel your anxious warmth. I wonder what I can do to make you even warmer. <laughs> or maybe I don't have to do anything. Maybe just sitting here with an older woman is all the stimulation your little heart can take. And in that case, why don't we just stay like this for a while until... You can get used to it. <laughs> After all, I'm here to teach you, not break you. So I can take all the time I need. <laughs> Is it? Are you getting used to me yet? Hmm, I guess not. Are you still thinking about that silly little girlfriend of yours? What makes her? So 
so special. That was a real question. Being honest with your landlord is the second lesson to being a great tenant. So, would you please tell me all about her and your relationship? It's very important since you broke the rules for her sake. So go ahead and tell me. Tell me what made it all worth it. <laughs> She's cute, huh? What else? How long have you been dating? Wow. A whole month, huh? It sounds like things are getting pretty serious. Mm-hmm, I see. But tell me, how close are you two? Mm, really? You did? And what was it like, going over to her house? <laughs> Take out. You mean she didn't prepare any food for you herself? Is that usually the case? That's too bad. I can tell by the dishes in your sink that you Always go the extra mile when you bring her here. It's an absolute shame that she won't return the favor even once. My, my. You're gonna try to stick up for her now? Maybe she's just busy? Or maybe she doesn't think you're worth the time. Think about it. Has she done anything to prove otherwise? Well, if that question has you confused, then I guess I have my answer. But don't worry. I won't leave you with any doubts. When I'm done with you, you'll know exactly how I feel. <laughs> oh, it feels like you've gotten even more flustered. Oh well. I tried to hold back, but you just kept being so adorable. It didn't leave me with much choice. I just want to eat you right up like the snack you are. <laughs> I'll make it clear. Who you belong to. Mm. I'll be very clear. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look absolutely adorable. Are you blushing? Mm. I'm so glad I put on some really pretty lipstick before coming over. Mm.
leaving it all over your cute little ears and neck. Mm. <laughs> I bet your girl has never put you in a daze like this before. And it makes me wonder. Do you really need her? Because... It sounds to me like... She's been the only one benefiting from your relationship. Are you sure she's even truly committed to you? I'm serious. She could just think you're a convenient person to have around. While she waits for her knight in shining armor, or whatever. It's possible that she doesn't care for you at all. You know, I could take care of you instead. I mean... I could cook for you, do your laundry, even take out the trash. <laughs> oh, I don't mean anything by that, of course. The point is, that girlfriend of yours isn't really doing you any favors. But if you dumped her and agreed to stay with me... Every day I would remind you that we are meant for each other. You could be free of that doubt and hesitation I hear in your voice. Doesn't that sound like a good deal? Oh... <laughs> You'll give it a try. You could be a little more honest, but this is a good start. We'll work on it another time. For now, why don't we just head to bed? That's right, we. This is your final lesson. Come on, get up. Let's go to the bedroom. Oh, don't look so worried. I was just kidding when I said I would eat you up. <laughs> okay, maybe not. But at the very least, I promise I won't do anything today. Or tomorrow. Deal. Perfect. The day you had this mattress brought in, I thought it looked so comfy. Now I finally get a chance to use it. But you first. Go ahead, get under the covers. I'll tuck you in first. There we go. How's that? Nice and warm? Good. I'm glad to hear it. You look so cute and snug under all those covers. Now, scooch over so I can get in, too. Like I said, I won't do anything. And if you're facing away from me, it should be perfectly safe, right? There. Now that we're like this, I can be... What's it called? Oh, right. The Big Spoon. <laughs> I'll do that for you again. I could tell you really enjoyed it earlier on the couch. I hope I didn't make it 
too warm for you? Well, even if I did, I wouldn't move. Putting up with it is part of your tenant training. Yes. I've been completely serious this entire time. I still believe you can become my ideal tenant. All you have to do is let go of all that extra baggage. You don't need to bring a girlfriend here. Because you have me. And I will always be here for you. I'm rather confident you'll make the right choice when you wake up. And you're so far from home. All alone and out in the world. Wouldn't you feel better if someone was close by looking out for you? Mm-hmm. I can do that. I can be that someone. All you have to do is let me. <laughs> mm, you can fight it all you want. But I've always noticed the way you've looked at me since you've moved in. I know deep down you've always wanted this. And deep down you... Hey, <laughs> what are you turning around for? Don't you need to face away from me? Oh, you're even hugging me now. Mm. So you're finally being honest. <laughs> I guess it wasn't so deep down after all. I'm happy you're accepting this. And rest assured, this is only the beginning. Mm, we're gonna have so much fun together. Fun you never could have had with her. Soon you won't even remember what she looked like. You'll pass her at college and won't feel a thing. Because you'll be too busy thinking of me. Mm, let's fall asleep in each other's arms to seal the deal. <laughs> so cozy. Good night, sweetheart. <laughs>